Hi, I'm Cameron Young with Mass Wildlife, and I'm going to show you how I use the Go Fish MA maps to locate where I want to fish and hopefully catch some fish. Now, just a quick rundown of bathymetry. Each line represents a five foot depth increment. And the closer those lines are together on the bathymetry map, indicates how steep a drop off is. So if you look here, you can see that that's a pretty steep drop off. But if we go up to the northern end of the lake, you can see that it's much more gradual. Now that brings me to my first point of the day, uh, which is shallow weedy flats. Uh, this is one of the features that I like to look at on any lake and, and I key in on to find fish. Now large weed flats uh, are typically indicated by a gradual slope and a large amount of aquatic vegetation. These flats are likely to hold schools of golden shiner, common carp, bluegills, pike, and largemouth bass. Shallow water means plenty of spaces for predators to ambush prey and even more opportunity for prey to hide from their predators. No matter what time of year, whether it's through the ice or open water, this area is a high percentage location to catch warm water fish species and a feature that stands out to me when I look at this bathymetry map. Now we're going to look towards the southern end of the lake and identify some of the deeper water where you might want to target different species of fish. Uh, many species of fish utilize different lake structure during the year, but trout can most frequently be found in deep water actively feeding on schools of rainbow smelt, yellow perch, and this is especially true through the ice. The deep water that you can spot off the boat ramp is a surefire bet for trout, and if perch, crappy, or smelt are on the menu, a great place to jig as well. So another place I like to look for fish, and is usually one of the first places I go on any lake, is a point. Now, all points look a little bit different, but the general idea is that points are shallow water or shallower water that extends out into the lake with deep water on either side. These are great all round areas to target a wide range of fish and a must fish spot in my opinion. Points enable fish to rapidly change the depth at which they are feeding and are a focal point for bait fish. Fish are naturally drawn to structure and that's what a point is. So another great all round place to fish on a lake that you can identify with bathymetry are humps. Now, if I zoom back, you can see that a nodal lake is separated into two distinct basins. So this hump right here between the two basins forms a natural choke point for fish. To get from one end of the lake to the other, they have to travel through this space. And especially if you're showing up to ice fish for the first time, you're not gonna be able to tell where this is just by looking at the lake. And that's where this app and these maps are so useful. So we're gonna identify our last feature and that is steep drop-offs. Now, steep drop-offs form a natural barrier between the shoreline and deep water. The sharp changes in depth funnel fish and offer fast travel routes from various depths. If you can find rock piles, trees, or even just a change in the composition of the bottom of the lake next to the drop-offs, you are likely to encounter all kinds of fish. Now, if I were targeting smallmouth bass through the ice, these would be the first places I went. By keying on, on specific lake characteristics such as drop-offs, weed flats, points, and humps with Go Fish MA, you can catch more fish and make your next fishing adventure one to remember. For the Go Fish MA app, it was almost impossible to be able to tell where to fish on the lake without electronics. With the new map, you're able to see under the ice, figure out where you want to go and spend more time fishing, less time drilling. 